got a um, Smith & Wesson 617 22 revolver here and um, it's it's virtually uh, it's used but it hasn't had much done much work it's in it's in um, very good condition and I wanted to use my um, uh, bore scope here just to have a look at a couple of interesting things about it including the cylinder alignment which is very difficult to see normally but uh, first first of all we'll just use the uh, the mirror here um, to do a recording. Let's just get it, get our, um, our video rolling. Okay, we're we've got a 90 degree mirror. We'll pass it down the barrel. You can first of all you can see um, the muzzle crown on the Smith and Wesson, which is is very nicely done. It's a, it's, an, it's a nice job there. Of course, it's critical for accuracy to get a good crown. And as we go down the um, stainless steel barrel, we can see how, um, how it's like brand new. And it's, it's got very nice, nicely formed rifling. Okay, and now when we get down to the the forcing cone, um, you can see it's it's a bit little bit ugly there, but this isn't unusual uh, in any revolver where the um, forcing cone has been cut into the beginning of the lands. We go around there, we can see it, and um, if it's too bad, that can have an effect on the accuracy. But in most cases, the projectile won't actually touch that. Um, that bad bit there so it may not have much effect on the accuracy um, and then if we swing the cylinder into position we can then go through and we can see oh there's a an ugly big lump of carbon that needs cleaning out um, you go through the uh, the cylinder and have a look at how its surface finish uh, it it has been cleaned a little bit but it needs obviously you can see when you see big lumps of carbon like that that it needs needs more cleaning now if you go around it very carefully you can see you can see the cylinder gap in there and it's good to rotate the camera I'm just trying to hold it still to ensure that cylinder gap is even uh, it's not it's never perfectly even um, but the more even it is, it's a good thing. You can actually see a very, very slight variation in the cylinder gap as we rotate it. But what I really want to show you, which is, I think is, is interesting and you can't normally see it, is if we remove this mirror off the camera, so we're looking straight ahead, and then we put it back down, we can come right down to the to the end here now as I pull back the hammer let's get in the right position like that you can see let's get the right focus the cylinder rotating bringing the chamber the next um, position of the cylinder. now if I move that you can also see the bit of play there now this this is you know the alignment of the uh, cylinder and the bore is is something that's very hard to see normally, but the the camera allows us to see that. And as we go around, so if we go to the next position, now you can also see there that the alignment is not absolutely perfect. Yeah, it, it, it's good. It's never going to be perfect. And we can go to the next position. Now you can see there a um, certain amount of misalignment and a certain amount of play. And we can work around and see if there's any particular um, position that is not, the alignment's not as good. But yeah, normally this is very difficult to see, but the camera 
gives us this uh, ability to look down and and see this alignment of the cylinder. And and this is is in as new sort of condition. It's it's very good. It's got no real wear or tear on this revolver. So yeah, that that's a uh, unusual view you get um, using this this particular scope. And um, yeah, it's it's good for examination. Uh, you know, close up, you've got a beautiful view of of different parts of the of the firearm.